Hello and welcome. My name is Mark and in this video we will show you how to manually add a user into the Cloud Portals IFS or in for Federation services including using the copy option to create a user from one that already exists or duplicating a user's settings and permissions. We will also cover using the export and import options. Doing so will give an employee user authentication and authorization access to the cloud portal and applications. Let's get started. Open a browser and navigate to the Infor Cloud Portal. Log on to the cloud portal with an admin cloud identity account. Once in the cloud portal, if the OS application is not displayed, select the OS application from the navigation menu. On the OS application page, click on the security tab on the top of the page or you can also select a security card located on the main page. This will bring you to the user management screen. If you do not have the security tab or card displayed, you will need the IFS application admin, info system administrator, portal content administrator, and user admin security roles assigned to your user account. In the users menu selector, expand manage and select Users. Click the plus button, which will bring up the Add Users Detail section. Input the employee's first name, last name, username, and email address. You will also select the Send Invitation option. This will send an email to the employee's email inbox, which will contain a message and link to access the Cloud Portal. Click Save. This will bring you to the Manage Users page. Notice the user account is now created. Note, when the user is provisioned, they will either be assigned an active or draft status. You would use this to control user activity or if and when you want a user to have access to the tenant. The automatic status assignment is defined in the General Settings section under Account Creation Status. You can view or change the user's status by using the action drop-down on the user's page. If the status is set to draft, you would need to activate and send the invitation. Click on the User Details button and fill in any additional information as needed, like title or department. Note, if you want the end user to eventually be configured with SSO or a single sign-on, with an IDP or identity provider, you should also add a value to the federated ID field to be used as your user identifier. Also, the IFS user GUID field is the unique identifier ID value used for this account. Assign security roles to this account by clicking on the security roles tab and selecting the needed security roles. Note, you can add additional security roles as needed. Click Save. The user account is now created and can be accessed by the employee. Also note, when the user logs in for the first time, it will ask them to set up their password. You can control password parameters and management in the InforMingle Identity section under the Password Management tab. If you would like to create a user account using an account that is already created, or basically duplicating a user account's roles and user options or permissions, you can perform the copy user option. Select the source user account or user you want to copy. And under the action dropdown, select the copy option. Enter the information about the new user account, like first name, last name, username, and email address. Keep the selected default options and click Add. A new user account will be created. If you'd like to add multiple users at once, you can use the Export option. Select the user accounts to be exported and select the Export button. There are two file types to choose from, CSV and XML formats. Select what file format you would like to use and select Export. The user account information along with the security roles assigned to the users will be exported. 
Make the necessary account changes to the CSV file as shown in the example and save the file. Note, make sure to leave the person ID and user GUID fields blank as these unique values will be generated by IFS when the new account is created. Run a user import by selecting the import button. Select the CSV or XML file you just updated. If you want, use the send invitation option to notify a user through their email that the account is ready to be accessed. There are other import options that can also be used, like update an existing user and activate deleted users. Select Import. This will create the new users. Note you may get a message to check the status of the import in the Admin Long Running Actions section. Proceed to the section and verify the import completed successfully. Go back to the Manage User page and verify the user or users were added. This concludes this presentation on how to manually add a user account to the Cloud Portal's IFS, including duplicating users using the Copy option and creating users using the Export and Import options. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to get notified when new videos are available.